emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello there. Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and welcome to part one of the E Models build of the Soviet all tank with winter ski. And the kit number on this is 40008, and it's by Mini Art, and it's part of their What If series. So we'll have a a little quick shifty to see what you get so you get a nice nice set of color instructions in there giving you all the paint call outs all your sprue diagrams and your decals and then really concise building plans of the interior of the tank all the interior of the sides of the tank the skis and then some more paint call outs on the back there now we're going to be doing this version up there okay with the fella with the boxing gloves and the blades of grass and, and things like that and a, a bit of uh, weathering going on and I'm going to put this on a little tiny dio as well um, just to give it a bit of character so it's going to sort of be sitting at the top of uh, a little mound looking mean and moody with the door open and a, a Russian soldier there probably having a, a sneaky cigarette or whatever and uh, yeah so you can have a look at the interior with the door open but it also just gives it a little bit of character so that's the instructions and I can honestly say this is really really well molded everything seems really crisp from what i'm seeing so you get your wheel halves your guns and, and big boomsticks and all of that look you get your side covers engine detail and transmissions all the interior seats skis and what have you so yeah all the mechanics for the wheel the bearings and the ball races and ammunition is going in and all sorts of gubbins are in there and it is a really decent kit and I've got some um, some paints as well some uh, weathering stuff to do snow texture and a winter weathering set that was kindly supplied by e models there so we'll have a little um tidy up of the bench and then we'll come back and we'll make a start i think on doing a bit of the engine um gonna try and probably do an episode for each each section um, each page even so there's what 10 pages 10 episodes uh, i might get more done but we'll have a go with getting all the engine together uh then we'll get all the interior section sorted out both halves of that with all the races and everything and then obviously we're going to be painting this and and doing bits and bobs with it so i'll probably build my usual sub assemblies and then go for a a bit of a painty poos and get some uh, paint going there so yeah i think it's going to be a nice little nice little build it's different you know what i'm like i i like to do things a little differently and choose kits that perhaps not everyone and their their dog is going to buy um these have got an appeal to them i've got one in my stash um and yeah i like i like the what if idea on things you know and yeah these are quirky little tanks isn't they yeah so i'm rambling let's uh make a start and uh, get the ball rolling i think so pop that over there grab a 
set of nips and a bottle of glue and uh, make a start so what I'll do is I'll pop a little image just here yeah uh, that's what we're going to be building this little bad boy this little ball tank here okay so I'll leave that up in the corner um, so that um, those that are sort of watching or what's he building it just gives you an idea of what it is in the corner there okay so I'll leave that in there um, hopefully it's not too distracting if it is just type a comment in and I'll just drop it off or I can just have it appear for a couple of minutes at the beginning of each episode um, I'll leave it up for episode one and uh, yeah let's have a look at what we've got um, let's move those just to the side there and we are looking for C19 over here so I'll just nip that off a bit proud of the gate there some bobs CA 25 one of those and I've got me funky black gloves on as well hey eh? cool what are we like uh, CA 3 uh, is that one called cool. that's uh, tidy in it like so hyper detail on this is really nice I must admit probably won't be saying that when I've pinged half of it on the floor for the carpet monster but yeah hopefully my carpet monster behaves itself and doesn't steal a lot of me bits and bobs that's what I'm hoping I'll just trim that back a little bit more and then I can sand the rest of that nub off. Try not to cut your finger Colin. Right, let's So we can start putting some bits and bobs together. Got a wonky finger on my glove, so I keep pink pinching it. It's doing my uh, yeah. Bless it. Nothing worse than a wrinkly glove. Put a little bit of the old uh, extra fin on there. So, bit of the old capillary reaction going on there with the glue and it just sends it down the seam scoops it along and gives you a nice little bond like so uh, let's find the other half of that engine and pop that together as well Just like so. Put 
bit along there. Just like that. Uh, right, CA26, let's have a looky loo. See whether we can find that. Six is that piece there. And uh, number five is over here. Let's make sure that we get that. And a bit. And there it is. BE, right in front of me. Yeah, don't be like Vesta. Have you a bit of that? Yeah. And then we can lose some of those pieces as well. Just nip that off of there. Give them a little sand. Apologies for the motorcycle. Obviously uh, out and about at the moment. side on uh, putting it all together try not to stick it to your glove just like that, let that sit just for a minute. That's the one over there. semicircle there needs to be facing outwards and then we can uh, add a little look that's actually part of that so it's just as well I didn't hack that off it's actually part of it so you don't want to go too mad with your nippers straight away just have a little a little pause and uh, keep an eye on it so that obviously goes along there. It's quite tiny. So bear that in mind. If you're uh, visually challenged, like me, where you you wear your glasses, you might just struggle to see some of these smaller parts. So uh, just take your time. Be you know, be patient with yourself, and it will come good. We'll just put a little bit of glue along there and then try and get some of this to start adhering. Yeah, it will go, honest. Like that. That's better. These little 
manifolds just need to rest slightly slightly proud of the engine block just along say along there just want to get that pipe in its appropriate hole the gloves I think will be lost in a minute How's that going? Just need to have a look at it, folks. Yep, it's in there. So there's that little bit of mess. That's better. You will go in. You're in. Phew. Well, oh, bang your head again, can't I? I can go on in a bit because we want to put in some covers and gearbox covers and yeah, so. Uh, CA2. Get that in. Like that. Feeling sorry for my sanders yet. Yeah, don't be like Fester. Don't abuse your sanders. Someone somewhere needs to make a care home just for the sanders that uh, Fester's abused. two halves together apologies for the uh, little little plane there we've got a little airport just over the corner there just by the RAF base uh, there's uh, lots of activity going on at the moment over there I can't say why but there is So, and that's the cover on. Right, that. And then we're going to go in here with that transmission section. Just get that in place. From what I gather, it presses in. Just make sure that I'm doing it right. Yeah, that, that is 
is correct. Correct a Mondo. And it just sits in not too deep. It actually doesn't go in right away, which is what I was trying to do. So, yeah. It literally has got just a tiny little notch there. See that? A little ridge that everything sits against. Like that. Is how it goes. Front panel on, and probably put the underneath on first. Actually, get that going. Another one. Where did that come from? Note to self. Remember that you haven't denubbed a bit. Yeah. Really? Cool. I'm gonna have that. And all you want number thirteen. in over there and also in the end of that some of the edges just to give them a little double check to make sure that the glue's got in because don't forget this has got to be painted it's got a bit of uh, wear and tear added so I'm not at this stage worried at all about any glue marks so to speak because I'm going to be uh, doing some chipping and paint effects and gubbins going on so 
Yeah, I'm not fussed about that, if I'm honest. Uh, we can start with a bit of the transmission in a minute. Put them bits over there just to the one side. Because I'm going to let them two bits dry before they go on the engine, so... That will let me carry on and do this little bit here. So we've got a sub-assembly of gears and pulleys and, and stuff. So we've got all of that to build. Um, seven and eight. Let's get them two bits in. Like so. see what we uh, come up with with these. And it's, it's really quite surprising because there's so much detail on this and I'm curious now as to how much of this we're actually going to see when everything is all buttoned up and together because yeah that's why I don't go too, too hyper on the uh, OCD part of it at this stage because it's only when you start putting it together that you realise how little of this is actually going to get seen on the finished build. So I've done it myself many a time where I've detailed and detailed and detailed. And then more so on aircraft, you do all the cockpit hyper detail it and then put the other side of the fuselage on and yeah you never see never see the detail again and it yeah it can be quite heartbreaking sometimes because you think I went all that effort and no one's ever going to see that but we know it's there don't we I suppose I suppose that's the thing. We all know that we've done it. Give that a bit of welly. Like that. And now we do the same on these ones. Apologies for my boiler going. I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. Apart from try to edit it down volume-wise when I run this through the suite. But... Oh, we do need hot water, I'm afraid, and this time of day that I'm filming is, unfortunately, the time of day that the boiler kicks in, so my bad. But hopefully it's not too distracting for you. Put those bits on, like so. Uh, we've then got that one. how they done it. Who am I to rock the boat? I'm just a poor little fester. Ding dong. That is tiny. 
that's it. It's gone in now. Maybe a, a slightly applied little bit of glove on there, but hey, you know, needs must. Uh, let's put number 12 in. Just like that. It's all about the big wheel. I don't think they wanted that to come off the sprue, though, do you? No. So that'll be getting a, a bit of deft treatment, I think. seam off of that wheel because it's a what's his name drive wheel isn't it and I just wanted to knock those edges off of it a little bit just uh, yeah a few some of that looking like that way round. shaky on the glue there so I'm going to pause shortly to dissipate that and uh, resume filming when the hands allow me to I think they're just beginning to do their thing so that would probably be a good time to just rest that to one side and come back at it when my hands allow me. Like that, and then that other one goes over the top then. Something. Oh, I do that. And drops in place. So that's what we think happens with all of that. I know. Just 
just like so. Resounding clunk as it all uh, starts to come apart. Really. and the engine so we'll come back at that All right. so we've lost the gloves because my hands were getting a bit sweaty so we are now on the seats there that's so what I'm going to do is do the seats these little brackets drop this frame and the exhaust and, and the little bits and pieces and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have these sections joined together and then they can sit off and dry all right so i've got to make two of those and it is a14 and a12 so we've got to make a pair of them so there's number 14 So, and number 12, right next to it is the footrest. Now this is a little bit delicate, this piece, by the look of it. So just be a bit careful with your nippers there. That's why I've lost me gloves, because my hands were getting a bit sweaty. And also I was struggling a little bit to grip some of the parts. So hopefully you don't mind me not having me gloves on but it's one of them the gloves come in handy when you're painting but a lot of the time I, I try to build wearing them but you can't always because you just can't grip anything or I can't anyway I think I'm just awkward but plenty of glue underneath there to get this to bite for me anyway just like that well, it's probably a fair bit of overkill there with the glue if I'm honest but I want them to stick apologies for the motorcyclist he thinks it's a good idea to belt up and down the path on his moped but I always get one. One there. And one there. Just like that. Slight D nub. Get rid of that. until it starts to bite like that yeah there's a tad wonky that one so I think we need to do a bit of adjustment there on that one it might be intentionally wonky though don't forget because this is a round tank so it could be that it's intentionally wonky but it looks a little bronzed to me but then yeah you know we'll see my OCD's kicking in now I've got to straighten it so if I need to readjust it I shall at a later time okay well that's A15 so we'll have that by powers of deduction that means A9's on this sprue. What do you reckon? Could be wrong. Seven, eight, no, there it is. Right in front of me, sticking out like the proverbial blind cobbler's thumb. Is A9. 
have one of them. Let's give that a quick sandy kins. And then we've got two halves there and a seat. So it's all on the BD sprues now. So we got a number one off of there. And there's four of these sprues, four chairs. So as you do each one, you can drop the, the sprue to one side. And then you know you've done the components on it, so to speak. So I normally just pop it there on the bench to one side so that I don't keep uh, getting it in the way there. So we've got two halves of that going on there. So one half is like so. Just like that. Drop the other half on. Like that. big old seat thing going on there. Have you a load of that? Like that. And as you can see you're getting the seat coming together. Just like that. Right. And then that all goes in there. Like so. So, uh, bit of glue along there, and then we'll just have a little, little press, just to get that plate up underneath. Like that, and we'll put that to one side with the others. At least we know we've done the two then, so same process. One of those, a couple of them. And then one of those off of there. you've got two of the seats are on these big frames and then the other two seats tuck in the side so they haven't got this frame assembly that I'm making so that will be why we're doing the two like so so let's give that a scrape because I want the glue to have a bit of a rough surface to purchase and then, same as what I did before, one of them on that half there, seemed to be the way that we done it, and it went together okay, so if it worked once, that means it ain't going to work the second time, doesn't it? Yeah, that's normally what happens. Like that. Splodge. One of those. And again, these will all be sanded once the sub assemblies and the glue have gone off. I'll come back at them and uh, give them a, a bit of love and attention. But for the moment, it's assemble, 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 is what I'm after. And then we can catch up with all of the lipstick and mascara stuff in future episodes. Like that. 
Bosch. See? There you've got another chair assembly. This sprue here. Yeah, look at that. So we want that piece off of there. Let's cut that proud. Go tight on that one. Proud on that one. Like that. And that'll be the frame that the engine goes in. We've got an exhaust system somewhere as well. Uh, that'd be, didn't it? There it is. Right in front of me. There you go. Oh. How could I miss that? Yeah. Get a bit of a uh, rid of that knob. Don't want that, do we? Sticking out like a hobo's tooth, isn't it? Bit of that. And then the theory is that we can have some more ancillary parts. I've got to go on the old engine. So we've got 22 and 23 off of there. That one. So let's find them. I've well, got the fan belt as well. Or drive belt, whatever you want to call it. So we'll get that and all. Have you? A bit of that. Oil filter. And. A badly moulded bit. sure that we get the right bit there and don't throw away the actual model piece and uh, yeah wouldn't be the first time I've done that would it so I don't need that bit and on that one let's keep that and get rid of that like that pew the engine because that's gone off now that's had plenty of time to dry and we are going upside down uh, and dropping a piece in there which is that tiny piece there looks like a fuel filter of some kind so we'll just get the old Like that. There you go. Just in like that. So that's those two pieces in. says along there and lo and behold there is a little notch for it just pretty much where that part is there go on preferably not stuck to Festa's thumb but he'll go in that's what we want a little dab of glue just to 
bring her home because she sits just on the back there of that little mechanism and it's a strange little fit but it does go like that probably a bit straighter but you get what I mean and then we want the drive belts to go on and that comes over that way from there to there big pulley like so just like that is what we want right, and that's the engine going on and I think we are quite close to being able to mount the engine into its little cradle I think and then we'll call that episode done so we're here now so that's where I wanted to finish so I think we are on target and we'll let's make sure we've got this the correct way around we have the notches that way yep so that's that and we can start sussing out the uh, way that that's mounted the mission all goes over there so yeah we're kind of going along them lines there like that So that's kind of what we want. So the aim now is to try and get all of that gubbins together. So I think we might go gearbox end first. Just to be on the safe side, just to get that in. That'd be what I reckon. Round about there. fiddly but she'll go about there so let's put a little bit of glue on them here which is the thicker white cap to me a glue because it's a bit a bit gloopier than the regular stuff the extra thin and for me it just just gives you that little bit more stodginess about it which then will let you grab some extra fin then and, and wop it along there but first of all we'll put a bit of gloop to get it to start sticking and then we'll come back at it with the extra fin and that will then suck some of the gloop into the joint as well as the extra thin that's the theory anyway like that bosh straight in so yeah that went a little a little better than I thought it would Honest. So I think we can do a 
bit of the old engine fitting. Transmission in its frame. Quite chuffed with that. Add that to it later, pile. I'm going to let all of this dry off now because we want that to do its thing. I think that's a good, a good place to um, stop there. And we can uh, resume on part two, where we can uh, come back at it and get some more of the interior sorted out, which is going to be all of these drive gears, additional frame sections to go in, and the engine to go in on that. And that'll be that little sub-assembly ready to go then. So in the meantime, pop along to E-Models, um, my sponsor, um, emodels.co.uk. Pop along there, grab yourself some uh, paints and, and bits and bobs. Um, obviously with the current situation, there may be slight delays in orders getting sent out. So... Um, they will email you when stuff is being dispatched just to confirm it's on its way so with the current situation just bear that in mind give them a little bit of time to process things because everyone's having to adapt and um, until then keep watching the build videos on e-models um, pop over and tune in on a monday to see myself fox chris and ted on the e-models monday stream little live show that we do each week um, look out for the other builders as well on uh, the e models channel um, on the YouTubes um, you've got Ted doing his Titanic at the moment Fox is going to be doing his Millennium Falcon build you've got Nevbo doing his motorbike and you've got Chris doing his vintage car so until then pop along Say hello to the guys at eModels. Feel free to send James as many cakes as you like. <laughs> He'll thank me for that. And I look forward to seeing you all in part two. Bye-bye for now.